My name is Mark Wrigley. I work at Shopify in Ottawa and I am a development lead. My close relatives think mostly I'm just a nerd who gets paid to do uh, nerdy stuff. I'm kind of leveraging my uh, early existence as a geek uh, and everything I learned at school about technical stuff. Um, yeah, it's just nerdy, complicated computer stuff and I'm the guy they go to every time the Wi-Fi is down. The most toxic single ingredient uh, that'll spoil a team is the usual sort of uh, diseases of the ego, I like to call them. Uh, people who are uh, not humble enough about who they are, people who uh, are a little maybe insecure about their abilities and who turn that into a, a real strong, uh, very forward personality. It's really critical to, to have a good sense of who you are, both the good and the bad, and to have balance in that. Well, if I had to put together a dream team of digital creatives, uh, I would just hang out in the speaker lounge at FITC, honestly. The crew that, that comes in and speaks at this thing every year is, is just amazing, and you've got pretty much the full gamut. If I could have anyone I'd want, I'd think uh, G-Monk would be a, a real good choice, just for the the chaos and genius and energy that he would bring to it. Um, there's so many good uh, technical people here and the really creative ones as well. I, I don't want to name them, but uh, they know who they are. Beyond what I'm doing at the office, uh, I, I've got a lot of really uh, fun side projects that, that keep me busy uh, in my little basement lab. I've been getting in, really into robots, which is a new thing for me. I, I'm an electrical engineer and I've always been playing with electronics, but things that move is a, an interesting new challenge. Uh, my, my soldering iron doesn't stay cold for very long. There's, uh, there's all kinds of stuff on the bench these days. The things that we talk at FITC about, the more creative side of these things, you really need to learn how to exercise your imagination, how to feed your imagination at places like this, um, to keep the hopper full of, of things that will inspire you. Read and think and talk to people as, as wide a variety as you can get. You never know where inspiration is going to come. You never know where that idea that, that sticks in your brain and rolls around for six months before it comes out as a new project. You, you've no idea where the source of this is going to come from. As a speaker at FITC, I, I get a little favorite FITC moment every time I have the privilege of coming and, and speaking at one of these things. The titles at this thing are always so interesting, so amazing, so inspiring. And when you're a speaker, the really cool thing is that your name becomes a part of it. So, yeah, my favorite FITC moment is that moment while I'm watching the opening titles every time I do one of these things where my name flashes up on the screen really briefly, surrounded by all of this uh, craziness that's going on every single time. Where I'd like to see myself in 10 years is a lot where I am right now. The happiest I've ever been professionally has been when I have a chance to be a part of a a really good team full of passionate, talented people um, working on something that probably ought to be impossible given the budget and time that we've got. Um, but where everybody rises to it and, and delivers them their best selves and their best work that they've ever done and we succeed against all odds. Um, those have been the happiest times of my life. They're, they're the happiest times of my life right now. And uh, if, I can, if I'm still doing that in 10 years, um, then I, I think I will have succeeded on, on every possible level. The biggest challenge I'm facing in, in my professional life these days uh, has been I, I'm sort of going through the change. I'm an elder geek now. I just passed the 30th anniversary of my first paid technical job. And I find myself now pulled away from the bench a little bit. And, and called upon to do more leadership stuff, more team building stuff. And uh, what it means is that I'm being left behind technically by the people on my team who are still, you know, elbows deep in this stuff. And it's, it's really a challenge as someone who's, you know, what I brought for so many years was, uh, you know, a very high level of, of technical ability and, uh, you know, like just knowledge of all the little tiny details of this stuff and I haven't got it now. It makes me feel uh, less secure in some ways about what I'm doing. So the, the challenge has really been for me to shift what I think my value add is from you know cutting code all the time and solving these little technical problems to having a much uh, different focus on the people who are doing all of this stuff and making sure that they're um, happy and fulfilled and, and able to bring all of themselves to work. Um, it's a little bit unsettling, um, but as I'm getting used to it, uh, it's, it's also very rewarding and, and very enriching. FITC for me uh, is, is really, really important. I, I look forward to it every year here in Toronto. 
it's such a rewarding thing to be a part of. It's where I come, what I get out of this is a, I get my creative batteries recharged, I come home with a lot of inspiration, um, I come home with a lot of stories that people tell at these things. I come home having met uh, dozens and dozens of, of people who will become my friends in the future. It's, it's where all of the kindred spirits, the people who are working and, and doing new stuff in the same space that I am, come together and share everything that they've got. So it's, it's the community, it's the people more than anything else. It's a curation not just in the, in the content that gets delivered, but in the, in the humans, the quality of the humans who are here delivering it as well. It's absolute super magic and I, I just love it.